I got it. Uh, uh, so I came out. <laughs> So, uh, I'm going to explain to you guys uh, about uh, the rankings of uh, <laughs> so, of the leaders of uh, Team Go Rocket and uh, Giovanni and uh, who I, uh, I believe to be uh, is the strongest. So, I'm going to, uh, not just, just another B-Doof, already have a big barrel. <laughs> So, yeah, let's get started. So, to fight the team of uh, Go Rocket leaders, uh, you need, so Cl there's Cliff, Arlo, and Sierra. So, you have to have to fight uh, six uh, team of Go Rocket grunts. <laughs> In order to fight them, so they're going to like specialize in a certain type. So you got to, so keywords uh, really stand out. So you're gonna to need to be ready. So yeah, let's see. So you, you first uh, only uh, fought them uh, through uh, Anna gyms. Uh, Anna. Fuck your stuff, sir, but uh. Fuck your stuff, but uh. Anyways, but now they they can do aerial attacks. So if there if you see a dark shadow, with a circle, and you tap on it and you look up, so like you look you see like the in-game sky like so. So you know if there's a dark circle. You tap on it and you know you'll fight them. So aerial attack uh, attacks are, are sort of different. The Pokemon that they use are like sort of so, the first Pokemon is different. Second Pokemon, second Pokemon, second, po second and third Pokemon, it's still like the you know switcheroo thingy, you know. But you really need to figure that out. So, but I want to start off with uh, fighting. If uh, you are fighting against uh, Jesse and James uh, from the team uh, Rocket from the original games, so so easy. So Jess, Jesse uses Ekans, Skyther, Bagon. So you need. Just use a ground or psychic type for the first one. Rock, use a strong uh, rock type for the second one. Third one, use a dragon type, but be careful if it, uh, if Bagan knows any uh, dragon type moves. So, So you will be awarded one shadow Ekans at the end of the battle. So you will uh, end up uh, fighting uh, Skyther. Shadow Skyther. And uh, But yeah, using a, I used uh, I think uh, I think I used Metagross or or some or something as super effect, effective, not like a super effective to dragon types, but I used it and it actually worked. Hold on, no, hold on, hold on while I catch this temple. Um, so if you uh, if you're like you're yeah, using gifts right now, uh, you you'll notice you'll get more great great balls and uh, ultra balls, and then 
and other items than Pokeballs. So James is another story. So here's a Pokemon. Uh, so James uh, uses coughing. Shadow coughing. Sneasel. You know. And Beldum. So you will be awarded uh, if you beat both of them. Uh, so you beat James, uh, you will be awarded coughing. Oh, it's a Christmas tree again. <laughs> Oh, sneaky. <laughs> so, they only have started appearing uh, since uh, July of the, this year. So, yeah. You'll, so, they will only appear in a Meowth balloon. So, if you see a team rocket balloon, just go rocket balloon, just, uh, you know, the black. Black balloon with uh, air hot air balloon with uh, with the uh, team rocket R on it. You know, go rocket. Yeah, then uh, yeah, then it's just a team rocket. It might be team go rocket. It might be one of the leaders after you've acquired uh, after you fought all six uh, team. Uh, Go Rocket Grunts, including, this also includes, uh, so, if, if you have enough spaces, uh, so, you will get, if you fight Jesse and James, you will get two. One from Jesse, one from James, and, uh, you know, the rest is just one each, you know, her battle. So, I'm going to talk, you know, talk about Cliff. Okay. So, he's uh, like a buff guy. Strong guy. Looks like he works out all the time. And, uh, you know. And Team uh, Mystic's uh, enemy. So, his, uh, if you fight him at a Pokestop, you, his, he will use Pinsir. So you might want to watch out for X Scissor or close combat. So yeah, you know, just be careful. So second Pokemon, but if you fight him at like uh, you know, through an aerial attack, he will is Grimer. Not a Lolan Grimer, but this Grimer. And I grew the. The thing about the leader leaders Pokemon is like this CP will be cranked up to like way uh, way high up. So like so you wanna like boost like boost up your like Pokemon and uh, bring up uh, Pokemon with uh, that that are super effective against the uh, the leaders Pokemon and uh, ones that have like a uh, fast moves and yeah. Make sure your Pokemon doesn't take too much uh, damage from them, because some dam some uh, do like deal some serious damage. Mm -hmm. So second Pokemon, Marowak. This used to be a Shadow Pokemon, but. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Marowak, weak to water, grass, ice.
So make sure you dodge its ground and fighting type moves. So yeah, be careful. <laughs> So he might use Omar Star. So I rec I recommend uh, using a grass type, super strong grass type. So I, I use Skyther all the time because uh, it knows a uh, Leaf Blade and uh, in the community they move uh, Frenzy Plant. So yeah, uh, if I beat it up and. Uh, Destroy uh, Cliff's second shield. Yeah, I can take him down. E take Omastar down easily. But he might use Electivire. This is a Pokemon I don't have in my decks. So the uh, looks like this. So I've never fought Electivire, but, well, I think I did, but I used the uh, Skyther again, but yeah. So, you know, elect electric types only have a weakness to the ground type, so you might want to use your strongest uh, ground, 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 type, ground types, but, uh, but it might know, yeah, might know, uh, know uh, some other moves that might not, not be uh, electric type moves, so it might... Yeah, using other moves, not just electric type moves, so you might want to watch out. <laughs> okay, so. Po so, Cliff's third Pokemon may be Tyranitar. So, most likely it will use Bite as its first move, and, uh, and uh, use a dark type move as a second as its charge move. But I rarely seen a ground a earthquake uh, Tyranitar or like but it might know Stone Edge, so you might want to be careful. So use like a uh, Pokemon like a uh, Ty, you know, like a uh, Machamp, uh, Hollywrath, or like or basically. Blaziken, <laughs> Lucario is a good one, but you might want to be careful because, uh, yeah. Or use any Pokemon that's uh, weak to rock, uh, rock and uh, dark combination uh, the weaknesses. So his uh, second uh, Pokemon, his third Pokemon might be Swampert. Only weakness is ground Grass type, so being your strongest Grass types. If uh, if he releases Swampert and Torterra, weak super weak to Ice types. Because it's a it's the grass and ground type, so you know, I uh, recommend a Glaceon or something, or any other uh, ice types that uh, that you have. Good if you use a poison poison type to try and take uh, take down a uh, Torterra. You know, reminder it you it has a uh, ground type fast moves. Now I'm gonna skip over to Ar Arlo. So where is he? where is he? He looks like that. Guys with glass. Guy with uh sunglasses on. He's kind kind of slim. He used to be Ken friends with Candela until he uh, left uh, team. Uh, Valor and uh, just joined uh, Team Go Rocket. And uh, he is uh, slightly more stronger than Cliff, so you need to bring your game, A game. So, 
first Pokemon may might may be I think Mawile. It is Mawile. So uh, Mawile is uh, Steel and Fairy. Used to be a steel, just a steel type, but it's the steel and fairy type. So, but it'll use uh, steel types and uh, dark, dark type. Moves, so you will need to be careful. So bring your strongest fire ground type, type fire type Pokemon and ground type Pokemon. So make sure none of them have our weak to dark type moves or fairy type moves or steel type moves. Because maybe even like using a ground or rock type Pokemon uh, and uh, maybe Iron Head is used, HP is going to go down. <laughs> so, okay, but sort but for but for aerial attacks, uh, his uh, poke first Pokemon is Pineco. So, I've used uh, Flareon all the time, but uh, yeah. Reminder that the Pokemon are like soup. His uh, Pokemon is a shadow Pokemon, so his Pokemon is literally on steroids. So, you need to bring your A, a game and try to. Try to like attack with uh, fire or flying, flying or rock type moves, and do damage first before our low mix makes you use your shield first. So you make him use his shield first. That's the key to, key uh, defense. Now second second Pokemon. No matter where you're battling him is Charizard. So make sure like uh he might have like a uh, flying type moves like fire type moves dragon dragon type moves so be careful use us uh, I recommend use uh using rock types because Charizard's a uh, flat fire and flying type so it's super weak to rock types so slam him down so the other Pokemon second Pokemon he might use for Pokemon number two is Blastoise. Remember, Blastoise is a strong Pokemon and you no know, Skull Bash and Hydro Pump and you know other water water type moves. So be careful. So use water, so grass or electric type moves. Uh, so, but you know, use a uh, grass or electric type moves that that are, that are like fa fast, uh, fast, fast uh, charge moves. Because if you uh, use like moves that are like too, too long, too, too long to like you know activate, like uh, like zap cannon, you know. And also, uh, water type moves that uh, do like a uh, strong damage against electric types, even though wa electric types are not weak to water, they do a lot of damage. Kind of, kind of like uh, real life, uh, how uh, water will knock out your like electric wires and such. So uh, yeah, yeah. Steelix is his third Pokemon. I uh, so he only use like body slam or. Or something, something like so. No normal type moves that are crunch. So be careful. So use a fire, water, fighting, ground type moves. <laughs> but I would uh, recommend her water, water fighting or or ground because you know it's just part steel type and you know. And ground type, the uh, good walk, knockout, fire type moves. So, oh, 
Pokemon number three, Arlo might use is uh, rem Oh yeah, by the way, his uh, so is like is like uh, just crazy annoying, like powerful. So I recommend uh, using Blaziken. Because I use Blaziken and knock it out, because, yeah. It might use a uh, X Scissor. So watch out for that. So the other the other two is uh sort of you probably uh will be yeah you you've seen them already. Dragonite. So they might like uh use like a uh, if they use uh and uh Salamence also. If either Dragonite or Salamence uses the uh, Dragon type moves, and you are fighting it with the uh, Dragon type, then you are sort of screwed. Pick a rock. I'll pick. I'll pick a, like uh, Ice type or like Rock type or Fairy type because those the uh, Ice do. Uh, ice does uh, four times uh, damage. Uh, to perfect the damage, though, I would recommend uh, going with that. But you know, but uh, if if Shadow Salamence uses a Fire type move, and if Shadow Dragonite <laughs> uses a uh, maybe a Steel Claw, Steel Wing, and using you're using an Ice type. Yeah, you'll take you'll take uh, some damage, severe damage. <sighs> Let's okay. Let's talk about boss. Well, boss lady, Sierra. She is murderous. She is crazy. Everyone is scared of her, except Trainer Tips Neck. He had the crush on her. So, the Pokemon Sierra uses is, uh, the, let me, let me tell you about her Pokemon. So, her Pokemon will most likely be around the neighborhood of 9,900 9, something CP. So, you really need to wish that you would rather be fighting Cliff or Arlo instead, and then fight Giovanni. Because she is like slightly uh, like uh, more powerful than Giovanni in uh, using a poke Pokemon. Uh, now we're from uh, what I've experienced, and so what she's going to use at a if you're fighting her at a Pokestop, she will use Beldum. Fire Ground, Ghost or Dark type Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Beldum only knows the uh, sort of normal type moves that uh, as a uh, from uh, I've called uh, Beldum uh, all, all the time and uh, from on the Beldum community day uh, last year I, I believe and Yeah. Take down and struggle. It does low damage. So you might want to use like a ghost or dark type right, Pokemon just to do some more damage because it's part psychic type. But, but, if you're an eel fighter on an aerial attack, like me, and several, many other thousands, thousands and millions of other trainers out there, this is the Pokemon that's scaring us all the time. Lap Shadow Lapras. 
Shadow Lapras in that like really maxed out at 9,900 something CP and you might want to watch out for Frost when her uh, Pokemon uses Frost Breath or uh, Hydro Pump or Aqua Tail and guess what her second Pokemon is also Lapras so you, she's the only Pokemon who, person who uses the double of the same Pokemon. So if, so my from from my experience, uh, I've uh, fought her, uh, fought her uh, with uh, with uh, Machamp. I've cut cut La Shadow Lapras's HP down to at least a uh, half. And uh, and then and I sent out my Breloom, Grass and Fighting type, and I killed the Shadow, the first Lapras. She sent out another Lapras, and my Breloom got murdered halfway through. And then I sent out my Scizor, and that also got murdered. And she, when she used it, she, second Pokemon, same with uh, her uh, her second other po second Pokemon, Sharpedo. Use it, use it water a combination of water and dark type move. So watch out for that. And my and uh, it's the same HP as uh, Lapras. And same as uh, Executor. So, it will. Uh, I used my Scizor and it got knocked out fast. And uh, I'm guessing Executor will also do the same with the Grass and Psychic type moves. So, be careful, people. So, however, no matter how you how you try to like beat her with like a bug, strong bug type Pokemon, she, her executor will will probably butcher you. Like her, like Lapras and Sharpedo did. Butcher. So her, uh, you've seen her uh, use a uh, Houndoom. Her Houndoom is like most likely probably 10,000 CP, I'm guessing. So, uh, yeah. So you want to use a like a strong uh, water type or or ground type, rock type, fairy type, you know. So and yeah. Her third poke other third Pokemon might be Shiftry. Also weak to bug type, but rem remember it's her last Pokemon, so she ain't gonna play Flare. She ain't gonna pay play fair, cause you know she is murderous. I don't know how Spark beat her, but eh. <laughs> She definitely does not play fair, and I don't know how you could do double Lapras when it's against Pokemon rules. Uh, and last Pokemon is uh, Alakazam.
be careful. But I'll go start. But super strong. Be careful. And that, that brings us to Giovanni. Leader of Team Rocket and Team Go Rocket. So. He uses Persian. Always. Second. But uh, this is where it, where it gets interesting. Uh, so if you're fighting him out of like a pokey stop, you won't see uh, right barrier. Combination of rock, ground, rock, or water, water type moves. You know the water type moves, surf maybe. And. Uh, Kingler. Super strong, but easy to easy to be beat if you got the right ones. And you'll see Steelix again. Also uses the same same uh, moves as uh, Arlo, so easy. But if uh, you're fighting him in air. Dog Trio. Nato King. Watch out for Megahorn. He always uses Megahorn. So always uh, bring out uh, bring out your like uh, strongest uh, ground type or psychic type. But be careful uh, if they're using a psychic type or like a. But water, water also works and ice type works. Just uh, dodge the mega horn. Third. So you'll probably. Now this is the Pokemon I'm working towards uh, getting. And it's uh so his third Pokemon could could be Garchomp. So super weak to Ice type and uh, Dragon and Fairy. So use I recommend using an Ice type because if Garchomp uses a Dragon type move, you, your Dragon type Pokemon will be smoked out easily. So third Pokemon, you know, it's pretty pretty standardized. So Pokemon used to be Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, Entei, Raikou, and currently it's Sui. I fought against the Shadow Suicune. And that was uh, just uh, took me a few tries until just to beat it, but I did it right, right with uh, when my uh, my uh, Jolteon with that one HP. So you meet, you need to be careful with that, people. So if you're going to like fight somebody. <laughs> Make sure like uh, you have a strong Pokemon that uh, that's at least uh, on, uh, like maxed out and has super effective uh, fast charge moves and uh, you then you need to sort of get used to like fighting uh, Cliff, Arlo and uh, and Giovanni and then sort of you know once you're ready fight Zero. Because if you, if Sierra ever shows up through aerial attacks, run away if you're not ready. Because look who I'm training. 
to fight Sierra. That, that double lap first is going down. <laughs> Someday. Uh, like, thanks for watching. So, some people have saying uh, Cliff was the hardest one, but yeah. It's like sort of like kind of being reversed. <laughs> Spark was easy. Canelo was mod eh, moderate, and uh, Blanche Blanc was uh, hard. But now it's reversed. Sierra is the the hardest, and if she ever shows up at your house to with an air balloon, challenging challenging you to a battle, I've. When you have a rocket radar equipped, run. If you fight Cliff, wait, wish for a Cliff or Arlo to show up instead. That's what I've uh, been uh, doing all the time. Good luck battling. <laughs>